What's up, good people? Continuing my PSA submission reveal here. This will be uh, box number three that I'm revealing. I sent a lot of these Kobe rookie cards um, because I had a lot of these collected when I was growing up in here in the States. I didn't really care to send them in previously, but ever since the sports cards boom, I basically went back and cleaned them all up and sent them in for grading. So first up here, we have a 1996 Kobe Bryant Stadium Club Mint 9 rookie card, which is not bad considering I've held these for two decades. And the next one here is a 1996 Kobe Bryant rookie Hoops Mint 9. The next card is the same 1996 Hoops Kobe rookie card, which also got a Mint 9. And these are all Kobe's I uh, pulled from buying boxes when I was a teenager. Uh, living in Los Angeles, I bought them at Frankenson's. For those who know Frankenson's, it's one of the biggest weekly card shows we have here in Southern California. Next one here is a 98 Flare Showcase in a Mint 9. I love these flare showcase sets. When they first came out, the holographic look of the two images, they really look great. The next one here is a 2004 Topps Kobe Bryant. Unfortunately got a near mint eight. Not too happy with the grade there. I guess those are a little bit tougher to grade. Looking on further, it does look like there is a bit of a corner damage up here. I must have missed it or else I wouldn't have sent that in. I sent all my cards in card savers, but somehow I feel like they get damaged during transit um, to PSA, whether it was from dropping the package or a nudge, whatever it may be. Next up here is a 2012 Kawhi Leonard rookie card hoops in a gem mint 10. Very happy about this card here. Pulled it from a pack. It's been perfect condition ever since. The next card here is a 2014 Joel Embiid Prestige Rookie Card. I got this one probably off of eBay, graded it, came back a mint 9. I guess I'm happy with it since there is a little bit of whitening on the edge and I got it from eBay. The next card here is a 2014 Excalibur Cameo uh, Joel Embiid Rookie Card. These come one per pack. I bought this, I pulled the pack fresh, so um, I know it's in perfect condition and I'm very glad it got a gem in 10. The next card here is a Kawhi Leonard Cameo Gold Gem Mint. This card I also pulled from a pack so I know it's in perfect condition. The next card up here is a 2007 Topps Kevin Durant Rookie Card. These uh, cards are pretty tough to grade I think because this card was in pretty good condition and it still only got a near mint 8. I think I got this off of eBay, but um, I checked the pictures. It looked like it were, they were in great condition and I was hoping for a 9 on this one, but unfortunately it was an 8. I think a lot of it has to do with the black borders on this card. Any little uh, paper loss, little whitening, um, they're going to clearly see it, the damage. The next card here we have is a 2012 Panini Clay Thompson rookie card, gem mint condition. I pulled this out of the pack 20 years ago. I'm looking for Clay and Curry and a fully healthy stocked up Warriors team to do damage next year and that should definitely help with this card prices. For our next card is a 2012 Kawhi Leonard Hoops rookie impact. This unfortunately got a mint 9. I guess there might be a little bit, tiny bit of whitening for these rookie impact cards, which uh, affected the grade. Next card here is a duplicate, the same uh, 2014 Kawhi Cameo Gold. The next card here is a 2012 Clay Thompson Rookie Brilliance in a Gem Mint 10. For our next card, one of my favorite football players, Barry Sanders. Although this is one of my favorite cards, you want to be careful with these 1989 Topps Traded set because they were part of the Junk Wax era and they were printed a ton. For our next card, we have a 2014 Prestige Premium of Joel Embiid in a Mint 9. 
And our next card here is a 1999 Flair Kobe Showcase. Unfortunately, it did Scott an eight. And our next card will be a 1996 Kobe Bryant Flare Metal and a Mint 9. Pretty decent grade because these do grade pretty tough. And over time, they do uh, begin to, to get some damage on these cards. And our last card here is the 2005 Kobe Bryant SPX. I really like this card because it's one of uh, the cards I got when I was a childhood. So I'm pretty happy about the Mint 9. And that's going to do it here for box number three. Don't forget to uh, comment, like, and subscribe, guys.